Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Easel Does It Studios. Um, I'm just starting to make videos for YouTube, so you'll have to bear with me. I'm still learning. Um, so tonight we're going to start, um, it is a set of angel wings with a base. So basically... The angel wings are going to stand up like this, and then I'm going to have a picture of um, my in-laws who've passed away. So it's going to be a memorial to them. Um, I've searched YouTube. I have not seen any of this um, particular um, mold. I haven't been able to find it. Um, so if somebody has done it, please comment below. Um... So I'm going to be using um, my four-hour uh, fast cure, even though I'll probably leave it longer, but um, I just have more of this, so that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get... Um, this base holds nine ounces. Um, I measured it with water. And... I'm only going to do about four and a half, four, four and a half, because I want to leave room because I want to embed my wings into that base when I put my picture in. So that will come on the next part. So what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to mix up the resin and then I'm going to add some mica powders to it and we will get these poured and we'll go from there. So I will be right back. All right, so I've mixed up eight ounces, two for each of the wings, and then whatever's left we'll put in the base. So <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour four ounces because I want my wings to be like an iridescent white. So I'm just going to pour four ounces into another cup. All right, so I got four ounces here, and because I'm using the mica powder, the bubbles aren't going to matter that much. Um, I am going to um, spray it with the alcohol just um, to try to get some of the bubbles out, because I don't want a lot of bubbles. So, and if I forgot to introduce you, introduce myself to you, I'm sorry, my name is Michelle. So, um, so what I'm going to use is this, it's by Recollections, it's Iridescent Iris. So it's like a sparkly, kind of white, creamy color. Um, oh, let me tip you down now so that you guys can see what I am working on. All right, so let me get my wings. <laughs> um, all right, let me just clean my hands for a bit. I am going to um, get my leveling table out so that um, I have something to move it on. All right. I know I'm a little disorganized tonight. This is my first video, guys. So I apologize. I will get better. I promise. I'm used to doing lives, but I'm not used to just like talking to myself, <laughs> which is kind of what I'm doing. All right. So we'll put that there and then I will have room. Um, to put this and that way there I can um, kind of move it out of the way. Oh, this is a brand new mold. I've never um, I've never used this mold so um, we're gonna see if I can with what I have in my my pea brain if I can make it happen. Because I am still fairly new to resin. Um, I am a self-taught artist. So 
Um, I will be doing some paintings as well, and I will make those into videos so that hopefully I can make them a little bit shorter. All right, so I've kind of cleaned those out. So I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to put some mica powder um, in here. And I want the wings to be opaque. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that has like a pink shimmer to it. I don't know if you can see. Oh, those are really pretty. All right. <laughs> so, so far, um, so good as far as my video. This is my fourth attempt at making a, um, a video for my YouTube channel. Um, so if you like what you see and you want to see more, please hit the subscribe. It's free. It helps me out tremendously. Hit like, comment, um, down below. All right, this is really pretty. So I just, I'm just kind of making sure that that mica powder is really mixed up good because I don't want no little funny looking pieces floating. All right, that is looking good. I have, I got this mold about a week ago and I've been wanting to do it specifically for my YouTube channel and that has yet to happen. So when I finally got things working, I'm like, okay, we're going to get this done tonight. All right. So I am going to spritz, um, a little bit of, um, alcohol in here and I'm just going to pour it slow. because I want all those little kind of little cracks to um, kind of fill up. And resin is self-leveling, so it will move around to where it needs to be. Um, I will take my little tool and just kind of go around the edges before I fill them too much. Um, and in some of these little crevices because I don't want no little, little cracks. I mean, little bubbles in there if I can help it. All right. So I'm just going to take my little pokey tool here and I'm just going to bring, make sure that that's all in the corners and there's no bubbles clinging to the sides. Now this thing is saying it's level, but it's not because all my resin is kind of going downhill. So I'm gonna address that here in just a second. All right, so we need this to come up a bit. So let me get a couple of popsicle sticks and we're just gonna Prop that up. All right. So that, I'm just going to spin these around. So <laughs> and we're going to try to finish filling these. And I like my pieces to be domed. So what I'll probably do is once I move it over to my curing counter that I know is level, um, I will just kind of 
top them up there. All right, so these didn't even take two ounces. I know I can fit a little bit more in there, but um, all right. So on the base, I want to mix um, some of that color with some black. Um, so I'm just going to get... Um, I'm going to get another cup and I'm going to pour just half of it. I can always uh, mix up a little bit more, but I want to leave room for a top coat. Um, all right. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm only going to add a little bit of black. I want to kind of like marble it. It's kind of what I'm going for. So I'm going to add more white, the same pigment that we used in that, because that is just absolutely gorgeous. So, and then I'll just do that um, one ounce with some black mica powder. All right. And then I'm going to kind of swirl it because I'm thinking my top coat is going to be clear. I haven't quite decided yet, but. And I haven't really decided on um, what picture I'm using yet either, so. I don't know. This color just kind of reminds me of like the colors that you'd see, I don't know, in heaven. It's, it's just, it has that pink shimmer to it. It is just, it's absolutely gorgeous. All right. So I'm going to take, um, this is the J-Diction uh, mica powder. I've never used this before. So I figured, why not? And it says black, but it looks gray, which is fine. It doesn't have to be really, really dark. I just want to have um, a little bit of a swirl through the, the bottom part. Oh, that's actually really pretty. All right. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour um, the white and I wiped some resin and I got a fingerprint in here. So, whatever is in your mold will transfer into um, your piece. So, if there's a fingerprint or a mock or whatever, make sure that you clean that out because it will, um, it'll transfer to your piece. And there looks like there's a mock and I hope it's on the outside and not on the inside, but we're going to find out. <clears throat> All right. So, and like I said, this isn't going to fill it all the way up, which is, is fine with me. Um, I do want to keep a little bit out to top off my wings. Um, leave about that much and I'm just gonna get this to the edges 
and then I'm going to swirl some of that black in there. This is the first time I've used this um, white mica powder too, and it's, um, I had used another one, it was more of like a cream, um, but this one is really, really pretty. <clears throat> All right. Her hair right there. No matter if I wear my hair pulled back or not, I always seem to end up with at least one piece in my projects. All right, and I'm just going to use my big silicone brush um, and kind of just swirl this in. I might have actually even made up too much black, but we'll see. Like I said, with ju I just want a random... Um, pattern. I don't want anything. I just want to add some color because um, if, if I end up using the picture that I think that I'm going to use, it's a black and white. So that's kind of one of the reasons that I wanted to go with the black and white. Um, And then I'm just going to watch it um, for a little while. Um, I'll keep checking on it just so as those bubbles come to the surface. Um, and then when we come back, I will be attaching these two wings in here along with the photo. And then we will um, top it. So um, this is going to take... Four to six hours. It's a four-hour cure, but because it's um, it's so thin, it will take a little bit longer. Um, so when this is cured, I will be back, and we will go on to the next step. Okay, guys, I am back, and everything is cured. These are the two extras that I made. So I'm going to demold these ones first. Um, so that is one. And I'll probably make these into keychains. Um, this one I'm going to have a little bit of cleanup to do right here. Oh, but it just fell right off. So this is the, the other one. And that's the back side. So those are our two extras. These are our wings. So these I'm going to demold um, because I'm going to um, hot glue them um, I don't know if you can see the the sparkle in there. <coughs> there is a few little tiny bubbles, but it's okay. It's for me. And it's the first time I'm using this mold. Sometimes you just, you can't avoid bubbles when there's a lot of like intricate details. Um, so what I'm going to do is... 
I am going to hot glue these um, onto the base and then I'm going to pour the resin in. The reason I'm using hot glue is because it cools quicker so these will set. I just basically need them um, so that they're like steady so when I pour the resin in the bottom it's going to stay. So, and I have my picture um, drying behind me. Um, I just printed it out on vinyl st um, sticker paper. And then I sprayed a clear coat of clear gloss over the top. So, it is cure. It's, it's just drying right now. So, that is going to be the picture um, that I'm going to use. <laughs> so, all right, so I got my glue gun heating up. So, I think while that's heating up, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix up my epoxy so that um, that has a chance to set a little bit. And I am going to mix up four ounces. All right, and I'm going to use my fast cure so um, I can come back in four hours and we can reveal the, the finished product. All right, so let me get my gloves on. <coughs> I don't think I have three hands. Sometimes I wished I did, but I don't. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to do, if this is a one-to-one. -one, this is the um, Let's Resin Fast Cure, four-hour demold. Um, it still takes eight hours to like completely harden, but you can demold in four hours. So, um, I have been like booking crazy, um, paint parties. So, um, there's going to probably be a few painting videos coming up. Um, also instructional. So if you guys want to paint along, they will be in acrylic because I have to do a few just different ideas for some campgrounds that I just um, booked. So, <laughs> so I will be live on my painting page um, tonight, but I don't know if I'll get this video done in time. So, um, if not, um, once I get it done, I will upload it onto YouTube. So, um, so yeah, if you want to follow me on Facebook, it's Easel Does It Studio, um, over on Facebook. And right now that's the only platform that I basically go live. Um, I can go live on TikTok, but I've only done that a few times. Um, <laughs> so, and because this is a thicker resin, we definitely get more bubbles, um, but I'm going to pour it in thinner layers and try and get bubbles out as I, um, pour it. And I'm almost thinking I'm just going to do, I don't know, I'm thinking clear coat. Um, because this is going to end up being the top side where normally I would flip it over and do the other side. Um, but... I'm doing this one a little different, so 
I'm still contemplating. And um, I don't know. This one here, I don't know if you can see that mark, but when I came back down like 10, 15 minutes later, I noticed a hair and I pulled it out and it was already getting thick. So, um, yeah, it left a little mark, but that's it's fine. It's going to be on the back side of the um, the thing anyhow. All right, so I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes. Let the bubbles come out. My hot glue is ready. Um, and I'm going to kind of put them at an angle, I believe. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put... Now, I've never done this, guys, so... This is the first time with you guys. <clears throat> so I'm just going to hold it there and let that hot glue set. Just like that. And then this one is going to be right about there. All right. So I could have used my E6000, um, but I just I figured um, the hot glue cures, I mean, cools down much quicker. All right. So that is that. So while that's finishing cooling down, I can unplug my glue gun. <coughs> and let me get my picture. And my X-Acto knife is on the ground. So hang on, I gotta grab that. All My husband doesn't know I am doing this. He knows I'm doing a project, but he doesn't know what the project is. So I am going to surprise him with this. So if anybody wants anything like this custom made, just message me and I can make you something. And I'm making it so that it's it's not going to be perfectly um, even because I don't really want um, the white of the, the vinyl showing. So I'm just trying to make it a little, a little bit irregular. All right. <laughs> so, and I'm going to take my gloves off for this part because I want to make sure that I place it right. I'm going to spray my resin. All right, so. hope that shows up and it's not going to so for some reason I was thinking this had a white background so we're gonna go to plan B 
<laughs> um, I am going to mix up just the iridescent white, um, and I'm not going to try and marble it. <coughs> you know what? I'm going to use a different one. I'm gonna, let's see. All right. I'm just going to use... The, I'm going to mix a little bit of this and a little bit of the plain white. All right. So we're just going on to plan B. <laughs> All right. And then we'll have to let that cure. And then I'll come back. I'll put that over. I won't, I'm not going to pour the full, full four inches. Um, and that way there, um, I'll have room for a top coat over the top. So there's going to be a couple more steps to this project. That's okay. I am just going to mix all of this. Um, so I'm going to take, it's going to be more white with a hint of that in it. All right. Let me just move this out of my way so I don't get anything on there. Just gonna add a little bit of that so it'll still have that sheen um, but not as much so I will probably have some more extras so if anybody buys anything off me, you'll always get a free something in your order. <clears throat> All right. And I should have my gloves on. <clears throat> All right. All right, so let's get this going here. Make sure you can see. So I'm just going to help this to the edges. And I might actually be able to use the floor. It's going to take more than I thought.
All right, so that's... All right, so we're going to let that set and cure, and I will be back as soon as that is dry, and we can put the top coat and the picture on. All righty, I'll be back. All right, so we're back. But I got to tell you, I had a catastrophe. <laughs> I put my wings, everything over there, everything was good. And I decided that I was going to turn on my heat mat. I just got it, never tried it. I did not think that I had just used hot glue. So when I came back down about a half an hour later to check... Um, my wings had fallen into my base. So, I saved the base. <laughs> we saved the base. But I had to make some more wings. <laughs> so, we will try this again. All right. Let me, and this time I'm just going to use my regular resin and I'm just going to do the 24 hour cure because it is um, 10 o'clock p.m. here in Maine and um, yeah, I'm going to go to bed after. So what we're going to do is um, I've got my picture ready. I got the white. Um, I'm going to glue the wings on. Um, so hopefully this video will be ready for tomorrow. <laughs> All right. So before, um, let me just see which way. Um, no, I think I'm going to do it this way. And we'll put the wings, all right. <clears throat> so I'm going to put the wings on um, before I put the picture on, just in case we have another catastrophe. And this is still, it's still bendy. So I'm hoping it is, it's going to work. I don't know. So the good thing is, of uh, these wings, they don't have many bubbles in them. <laughs> so something good came out of this. So, all right, let me just get this one unmolded. I'm like, oh my gosh, something that should have taken like an eight hour, um, process is turned into two freaking days. <laughs> like, all right. So, oh, I'm hoping these are hard enough to stay upright. Oh, God. All right. Well, we're going to, I'm going to put them on and then I, by the time I mix up my resin, and then I'm just going to leave it. I'm not, I'll put the, uh, put the picture in after I put these on, and we're going to just call it a night. So as soon as my, um, my glue gun here is up to temperature. So in the meantime, seeing how I had some extras, <laughs> I this one came out really cool so what I did is I just used my marker pen my chrome I did this cleaned up everything else look at how cute that is so that's one of them um, and then I had done the black on this so I figured well I might as well do 
uh, white one too. Um, so we've got that. So they'll they'll either be pendants or keychains. I don't I haven't decided what yet, but um, and these are really cool. So I've got a little bit of trimming to do over here, but nothing major. Um, so these are the two lightning bolts, I guess you want to call them. And this is the sun. Just a bit bendy, but they'll hide not by morning. So that is cute. And this one, I'm I think I'm gonna have a lot of cleanup on this one, but um because when I went to put my wings up, I forgot I had made these and bumped it over and oh my word. Oh, so it's not too bad, just a little bit on the back. See that? I'll just clean that up with my knife. Um, and it's easier to clean up when it's still a little bendy like this. So I might as well do it while we're waiting on um, the glue gun. Yeah. All right. And then I had one other little pendant. <laughs> so I'll do something with those keychains or something. All right. <clears throat> oh. This is just not my day for doing this. Dropped a gob of hot glue right in the middle, right where my photo's going, so I've got to clean that up. All right, let's try this again here. And I'm going to have to trim this because I over poured this one. I just don't want to give it any reason to um, not be able to stand other than it's really bendy. So I might end up just, I might wait until morning to finish because this is... It's really bendy, and I'm just afraid that if I leave it, it's it's just going to bend. So I will go ahead. I'll stop this video now, and I'll be back um, once I put this all together. Um, it just... try it. What the heck.
trying to see if it's yeah it is bending all right I'm just gonna wait until morning and um, we will finish it then alrighty guys <coughs> have a good night alrighty guys so hopefully we can get this finished today so my wings are now nice and hard so I don't have to worry about that I have my heat gun heating up so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna mix my resin while we wait for the heat gun to um, get up to temperature and So I'm going to mix up four, um, four ounces. This is a one-to-one -one ratio, so you put equal parts um, by volume, not by weight. All right. So, hopefully my next video will be much better. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to mix this. Kind of slow. Um, because this is going to be a clear coat. And I also, um, I reprinted my image and I printed it on white sticker paper. Because even though I had the white background, it was still too faint for it to really show. Um, so... I went ahead and I printed another one and I got that drying behind me. Hopefully it'll be, yeah, it's almost dry now. So I have it under the heater, so <laughs> it's heating it up. All right. So, so I figured if I mix this now, then it's gonna have time to um, just set and de debubble a little bit, and then I will just spray it and probably use my heat gun to get some of the bubbles out. So, that set. All right, so it looks like my glue gun is ready. So let me just kind of tilt you down a little bit so you can see. at a slight angle. And I'm not going to put my heat mat on today. I am just going to leave it. <laughs> just going to leave it.
All right. So this is the way it's looking. We're going to put the image here, and then I'm going to top coat it with a clear coat. And hope and pray for the best. And if not, this video is probably going to go out just the way it is. <laughs> All right, so this is pretty much dry, so I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and we're gonna recut this out. And like I said, I don't want it to be completely um, square, so I'm just going to kind of just give it like a little bit of a, a wavy. Although I could have put washi tape around it, but I don't know. I just think this is going to look better. All right. So let's. it enough to pull it up. There we go. All right. Wow, we're having some sort of success today. All right. I just want to wipe this base off just to make sure there's no no fingerprints. Or anything. No pieces of glitter. All right, so. And I'm folding it like a taco, and I'm going to put the middle in first. No bubbles underneath. All right. Oh, my God, we might actually get this finished, guys. <laughs> So I am going to hold it, um, let me try to move it here a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Um, and hopefully that I sealed that enough. And I might have to mix up some more. Which I am pretty sure I'm going to have to. So basically, I'm just getting that so that it's coating um, the whole bottom. And that way there, I can spray it. It'll be thin so we can get some of them bubbles out. All 
All right. those pop for a little bit <clears throat> so the next time I'm just going to use my 24 hour cure um, I just want to get this video out I will babysit this for a little bit um, so I can keep spraying it. Definitely can use um, a little bit more, but it isn't, it's not going to be that much. So I'm not going to make any more. I'm, we're going to just, we're going to go with this. All right. So. I will be back in about four hours. It'll be like that for you guys. Um, I will babysit this a little bit just so I can work out some of those bubbles. And we'll be back, guys. <coughs> hey, guys. Finally, we are going to demold this. We are finally done. Oh, my God. It is still a little soft and tacky, but... Um, oh, crap, maybe it's too soft. Oh, well, I can always top coat it a little bit. The bottom is cured. There we go. <coughs> and voila. This is our piece. So overall, I'm, I'm pleased with it. Um, I do have a little trimming to do, but um, that, you know, that's fine. I will get some pictures and um, I will get them posted. Alrighty, guys. Thanks. Bye.